Hey guys, Mars Engen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are going to do the team building guide for the future Saga Extreme Z battle that is going to be dropping uh, tomorrow. It drops at the usual time that events come out for JP, which is 9 a.m. in the UK, 1 a.m. Uh, PST. Basically, it's an hour and a half after events usually come out on global. So, uh... It's going to be a little while from the release of this video. Um, I think it's going to be 10 hours. Like if you're watching this as soon as it goes up, it's 10 hours from now because the video is being uploaded at 11 p.m. UK time. So this Extreme Z battle, if you're not already aware, is going to be for you to get the medals to EZA, the Tech, Future Gohan and the AGL Trunks and Mai. So it's a 30 stage Extreme Z battle. You get 30 stones and then there's some missions so you can get an extra couple of stones from that. But this does not give you the medals to EZA, the STR Rage Trunks and the Int Zamasu. And unfortunately, I, I thought they could have done it with this EZA, right? We've got those missions that they added uh, for the previous EZAs that by completing them, they would then give you the medals for the sub EZAs. And I feel like they could have very easily just added new missions to that. That basically was, you know, complete this Extreme Z battle. And that would give you the medals for um, Trunks and Zamasu. Because they use the STR Rosé and Tech Vegito Blue uh, medals to EZA. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So to get those medals, you do have to, like the old fashioned sub EZA routine, you have to go and replay the stages of those EZAs, which cost stamina um, to then get the medals to EZA those units. But that is something that that means you are able to actually do right now. So if you have a bunch of stamina and you don't really have anything to do in the game, go ahead and go and farm those EZAs now. It is one Extreme Z battle for the Rosé and Vegito Blue. Um, I actually have the event up here. So you can redo these stages. It does drop the medals for both Rosé and Vegito Blue at the same time. So at least you don't have to farm it twice like we have had to in the past. I remember last Worldwide when they EZA'd AGL Metal Cooler, they dropped the sub EZAs for Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta and STR Piccolo at the same time, but they didn't add any missions or any bonus medals or anything. So you had to do the EZA once to EZA Metal Cooler, then you had to replay a whole bunch of the stages multiple times twice to do the two sub EZAs, which is pretty uh pretty much a nightmare so at least this way you are getting the medals for both characters at the same time but it does mean you have to use stamina to replay those stages so go do that if you have not done it already but this is a standard 30 stage EZA you fight against the tech future Gohan for the first uh, 15 stages here and then fight against the AGL trunks and Mai when it comes to the characters that will do reduced damage um, you can see here we start off getting a debuff immediately against STR, both Super and Extreme. And then as we come down to stage uh, 16, we then get damage reduction from AGL, STR, Super AGL. So basically both types, right? Super uh, and Extreme. Now, Extreme AGL is actually not on here. This is so any units that are like SSR or lower, so they don't get the super or extreme class, they're already mentioned higher up here for getting the damage debuff. Um, but that means extreme AGL units will still be effective uh, in this stage. And then there is no addition that changes that. So extreme AGL will still be good. And obviously, if you go past stage 30, you can get the extra medals. So bear in mind it's not all super class it's only super agl and super str and then extreme str so that does open up a decent amount of viable options uh the specialist category is future saga so let's go ahead and uh, jump into the category list so with the special category being future saga i mean it's a pretty big category here and we are only going to be excluding uh, all the str units and then super agl when it comes into the consideration of who the best units are to use apart from one exception that i am going to mention um, as always with my team building guides i'm going to go through my top picks and honorable mentions for building the best team for this extreme z battle if there's any any units you think I miss out or that I should have talked more about why they are good for this event let me know down below in the comment section and of course if you do find the guide helpful at all do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new so jumping straight in we'll start off with the leader options 
Um, one of the go-to units definitely is going to be this LR Vegeta and Trunks, right? They have a 170 lead for Future Saga. The few Future Saga units that are on Battle of Fate are going to be getting the extra 30% from their leader skill. And of course, for the first 15 stages when we're fighting Future Gohan, they are going to have type advantage. So they are going to be very, very good. They are starting to age a little bit against the tougher bosses, but easy A's are not particularly difficult, especially in those first few phases, right, where they've got their type advantage. So they're just going to be super, super good in slot one. And then even in the last 15 stages, right, like Extreme Z battles just don't hit that hard. Um, even if they're taking a slot one super because they are in the special category, they've got their guard and their defense bonus in slot one. Um, they're going to be perfectly fine, right? So these guys are really good. Plus another big benefit is if you have a full future saga rotation, because we're going to be running a full future saga team, you can use their active skill from turn three. So Extreme Z battles usually last three to four turns unless you are struggling uh, against the later phases. So you might get to see this active skill fairly often early on, potentially even as a finisher. Um, so they're going to be very, very useful. And then even if that active skill doesn't kill, it buffs the entire rotation for defense. So you're going to be looking good uh, on that to be the final turn to finish off the fight. Next up, we have the Blue Boys. So these are the only Super AGL unit that I am going to mention, because as I said at the beginning, Super AGL gets a massive damage nerf, and people already don't like the amount of damage these guys do, especially when you run them in slot one. However, their leader skill, Future Saga is one of the 170s, and then they have Time Travelers or Realm of Gods as the plus 30. So they are able to cover a lot more of the units that we're going to be running under their full 200% leader skill. So whilst they're not going to be doing a lot of damage, they provide a better leader skill for more 200% options, and they are a very, very good defensive unit in slot one. So I think they probably are worth running as your leader, or at least on the team. Um, I think the leader is probably best, right, for the full 200% um, leader skill. Run Trunks and Vegeta, have them as your two slot ones. I mean, you could always run a friend, uh, Goku and uh, Vegeta here, if you are running Trunks and Vegeta as your leader. So you have one of each. The friend is providing a bit more coverage for the 200%, but you only have one of them on the team. And then those are your two slot one units, right? So he won't be doing any damage because he gets the 80% nerf, but very good defensively, gives more units the 200% leader skill. Probably never going to see him fuse into Vegito because it's turn five from the start of the like their first turn. So if they're on turn two, then it's like turn six. So you're probably never going to see that in this event. And even if you do, Vegito is not going to be doing any damage, right? Because of the 80% damage reduction. But they still make a good leader choice. Then we have Tech Trunks. Uh, so Tech Trunks, obviously starting off in base. He has a 170 lead for Future Saga. Um, not a slot one unit, but can get pretty decent defense after his first few supers. The last 15 stages, he's going to have type advantage as well anyway. So he's definitely not going to struggle in an event of this difficulty. And of course, on the next turn, he then transforms into the Super Saiyan Trunks, has the chance to get extra attacks. So when you get into that final AGL phase, he is just absolutely going to cut loose, right? And do a ton of damage and definitely be very good. Um, technically, he can transform into Sword of Hope on the very next turn, which could be turn five if he was on turn one. If you haven't finished the fight by turn five then the spirit sword will just absolutely be the finishing blow right so he can definitely be very good even if you're not running him as the leader because you want to make uh, use of one of those 200% leader skills um, I uh, think he's worth running on the team for sure because of the way he's going to link with everybody else got type advantage definitely going to be very good so next we have the future Gohan physical easy a uh, he has a 170 lead for Future Saga as well. He needs a Future Saga Trunks to be at his full potential, but we've already talked about that, right? We've got a couple of those because its name includes Trunks, so it includes Vegeta and Trunks as well. Um, one thing to mention is the wiki doesn't have listings for the two new units. So remember, the Part 2 Carnival LR banners come out uh, eight hours before this Extreme Z battle. So if you pull the new LRs and awaken them, you could use them in this Extreme Z battle. Now, the future Gohan, because he's STR, he's going to be getting the damage nerf, but he will still be an incredible tank. But remember, you can't use same name units. So I think because he's not going to do any damage, this Gohan probably is better if you want to run a Super Saiyan future Gohan. Um, but obviously that STR one is going to be an absolutely fantastic tank. So it just depends whether you pulled the new units or not. Just remember, of course, you can't use same name units. But this guy will be pretty good. The physical trunks, if you do pull him, the Carnival LR, he obviously will be very good because he does not get a damage nerf. Um, he is a slot two unit. I already made the video talking about his best link partners so he actually could be very good in this extreme z battle as well 
Now, next up, we have the Androids. They have a Future Saga lead. They're really good for easy A's because you can use their active skill immediately on turn one and basically just get a free turn, even if they're on the second rotation. Um, obviously, if they're on in slot seven and they don't appear till turn three, the enemy will have potentially lost too much HP for you to be able to use it. But they are very, very good for that, right? Especially in the later stages, if you're struggling, just getting a full free turn where the enemy can't do any damage to you is obviously very, very useful. Now, if you're running them as like the only extreme unit, they're not gonna link super well outside of like fierce battle, but they do create their own orbs. So they can still get supers. Uh, they do nullify key blast supers, but I don't think the Trunks and Mai don't have one. I think future Gohan's one might count. Um, but that part maybe won't be as useful, but the Ghost Usher ability, very, very strong. So these guys definitely can be very good. Now, moving on to leaders who are not necessarily Future Saga, we obviously have the LR Fusion Tomasu. So his leader skill, Realm of Gods, Worldwide Chaos, or Fused Fighters, and then Time Travelers or Final Trump Card as the 30%. Obviously, a ton of units fit under that 200% leader skill, especially the extreme ones who are future saga so you can absolutely make a full future saga lead under this guy's leader skill using all the various goku black and zamasu units um, and he obviously will be very very powerful especially in the final uh, stages where you're fighting against the agl trunks and Mai, and he has type advantage so yeah this guy will just be absolutely crazy i don't feel like i really need to explain why right or go into too much detail about this guy he will just be absolutely insane right um again like the vegeto fusion you're very unlikely to see the domain especially because he will just absolutely tear up trunks and my and as they are the final stages where the event becomes its hardest you're much less likely to get to five turns when you're using an absolute monster like this zamasu so definitely very very good uh, then we have the agl zamasu that got his easy a remember it's only super agl that get the damage nerf in this event so this guy is a realm of gods 170 lead so again if you're missing the lr zamasu you can run a full goku black and zamasu team with this guy as the leader and run the tech lr zamasu as your friend um even if you're not you know even if you're not going to run him as a leader he's still very good on the team if you are running that extreme build of like you know future saga slash realm of gods he will be very very strong just like the uh goha uh, trunks he obviously transforms straight away on the next turn and is just very very good lots of healing this team has built in which is great for extreme z battles because you don't get uh the use of items so definitely very very good uh, next up, we have the Int LR Fusion Zamasu. Now, of course, remember, because of the naming issue, you can't use both of these guys. So this guy's only going to be on your team if you don't have this Zamasu and are running like this team build with him as the leader, right? Because otherwise, you just can't use this guy at all. Um... He's going to be pretty good, especially in the first 15 uh, stages where he's got type advantage. He'll still be very effective against the final 15 stages as well. Um, just a very strong unit. Very good. Unfortunately, he kind of only really fills the honorable mention slot because he shares the same name as Tech Zamasu, who is just infinitely better for this event. Uh, no pun intended with the infinite Zamasu. <laughs> but there you go. So this guy, probably only going to end up using him if you don't have the new LR. But if you do end up using him because of that, he is still going to be very good, right? Then we have the Int LR Rosé. Now, he doesn't have his easy A yet, if he is going to get one. Uh, but he does lead Future Saga for 130. So again, he can be a stand-in lead if you're missing some of the other leaders. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure if I would use him on the team. He will be fine in the first 15 stages again because of the type advantage. So he definitely could still be effective if you don't have the strongest uh, Future Saga box. So definitely a worthwhile consideration, but more of an honorable mention than a top pick. Um, then we have this guy. A uh, good support unit for the team. Again, if you, with easy A's not being super difficult, this guy is less likely to get caught. Um, he's giving 40% support to everybody on the team. He does also have a Future Saga like sub leader skill. So if you really are lacking on leaders, he could fill that slot if you don't have anyone else. But otherwise, I would only really run him on the team if I'm running the full extreme version because he will be providing the support and then linking up well with the other Goku Black and Zamasu units. Whereas if you're running the full super type build, there are better um, support units that, of course, I am going to mention coming up very soon. So next up, we have these guys. Now, these guys are definitely a number one pick, right? If you're running the extreme build, you put Tech Zamasu on there and then you put this guy on there, right? 
Type advantage in the last 15 stages. Very, very good. Um, they've made a huge comeback thanks to them getting a 200% team with very strong link partners. They're going to have type advantage for those final phases. Um, they're just very, very strong, right? They recover HP at the start of the turn. Like, these guys are just the absolute go-to if you are running the extreme version of the team. So, absolutely 100% recommend using these guys if you're running the extreme team. Uh, next up, we have Tech Vegito Blue. So if you are running the super type team, um, his leader skill, not the best, although technically, I guess it does fit the uh, Zamasu uh, and Goku Black units. So you could build a team with him as the leader. Um, but yeah, he's obviously going to be very good. Type advantage in the last 15 stages. If you do somehow manage to get to turn four with how strong this team can be, then he's going to be transforming into Vegito Blue and having a 100% chance to dodge. So at that point, he's just going to go in slot one and it's just going to be GG for the enemy, right? So this guy, absolutely very, very good. The only way I would see not running this guy is if you are going for the extreme version of the team, right? That's the way I see the best way to build the team for this Extreme Z battle you're either going to be running basically a full future uh, super type future team or a full extreme type future team right so the only way you would not be running this guy is if you're running uh, the extreme team and then same with like you're only not running this these guys if you're running the extreme uh, super version of the team so very very strong very very good unit uh, then we have this trunks now this is for the jp players only obviously we don't have him on global um, he's definitely gotten some buffs with this celebration, right? Because he now has a lot of future uh, Android slash Cell Saga allies. Although the last 15 stages being AGL, it doesn't really matter with his chance to guard, right? So he can definitely be very good in this event if you want another strong tech unit. He's definitely more of an honorable mention. He's not an absolutely must have for this event. So obviously global players don't worry too much that we can't use him. Um, and of course, he's another Super Saiyan Trunks team. There's a lot of same name characters uh, in this saga, of course, right? So you're only going to be able to use one of them anyway. Um, so we also have this Super Saiyan Trunks future, the one that just got his EZA. We do have a future saga enemy. So he is getting most of his buffs apart from the extra attack against the cell. He's just a very straightforward unit. I'm not super impressed with his EZA, but he's definitely not terrible. Um, he can be very solid on this team. Again, as another strong tech unit that's going to have type advantage against the final phase. So he can certainly be very useful in this Extreme Z battle as well. Then we have the base future Gohan. Uh, this guy, obviously very good, gives Bond of Master and Disciple allies two key and 50% support. So if you are running a lot of Trunks units or other future Gohans, or even the uh, Vegeta and Trunks are on Bond of Master and Disciple, this guy going to be super, super good for this team. And then if you do get to turn four, he transforms into the uh, Super Saiyan future Gohan. And he's obviously very, very powerful, has damage reduction. Um, we have a future saga enemy, so he gets a guaranteed additional super. So he's just going to be very, very strong in this event as well. So I think you can see both super and extreme versions of this team. Very, very strong now, thanks to this celebration. Int Mai is the unit I was talking about when we mentioned the AGL Goku Black. If you're running the full super type team, you're probably going to want to be running her as the leader. She is providing a ton of support to everybody. She has the built-in dodge. Um, she's just going to be very, very strong. Absolute must run support unit if you are running the super version of the team. And then last but not least, we have the Gowasu and Zamasu. Now, even though they are a super unit, they can be run very well on the extreme team as well. So they definitely can be worth using. Um, they give 70% defensive support to all allies. And then we're not fighting a Realm of Gods. Uh, sorry, it's Realm of Gods allies they need to give a key and 30% attack. So that'll probably only be relevant if you are running the extreme version of the team with the others of Masus and Goku Blacks. But that is a nice little extra buff as well. And then we are attacking a super class enemy for this full Extreme Z battle. So they're giving a ton of extra defense from their passive support as well. So those are the ones I picked out. Now, actually, I should have mentioned because they are are not part of this EZA and technically you could farm up the medals and have them done already the Int Zamasu would definitely be very very good however remember he shares the same name as the AGL one 
Um, so I don't know, whichever one you feel is probably going to be the best. I mean, this guy, of course, going to be better against the uh, tech phases at the beginning, and then maybe switch to the AGL one, like the M one's definitely going to be very good. However, the Trunks, who you could have farmed the medals up for already, he's a super STR unit. So whilst he'll be good defensively, because he has the damage reduction and everything, he's not going to be doing any damage. So I probably wouldn't recommend bringing him. That's why I didn't mention any STR units. Like Mai is good with the support, and if she gets her supers, she has her damage reduction but she just doesn't do any damage so i mean if she's there as a support unit it's not too bad but in the final phases against the agl boss if she's not getting those additional supers she could get you caught out um and then if we look back here like this tech uh, old school super saiyan trunks easy a is pretty good but he's going to be yet another unit that shares a name with one of the other trunks you could be bringing uh tech vegeto blue the uh easy a one actually because we don't have a standalone vegeto blue that we mentioned on the team so he actually could be very good in those final um stages as well right potentially popping off a bunch of additional supers doing a lot of damage getting those stacks uh, so he could definitely be very, very good as well. I didn't really mention uh, AGL Rosé, right? Because Extreme AGL doesn't get a huge debuff, but he's a lot older now. I mean, he's providing support. He's definitely not going to be terrible. Maybe he'd take a bit of damage from a super in those final phases, but he could be very good as well. So there you go. Future Saga. Those are my top picks and honorable mentions. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Uh, like I said at the start, if there's any units that I missed out or you think I should have gone into more detail, let me know. And let me know what your team build is going to look like for this future saga extreme z battle so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the mask ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one